In this short screencast, I want to show you how to use the homework template I made together with ScribTech, which is an online LaTeX editor. So the first thing you need to do is head on over to ScribTech.com. If you already have an account, you can go ahead and log in. If you don't, you can head on over to the sign up link, which is in the upper right hand corner. If you click sign up, all you have to do is fill out this information and just make sure you sign up for the free account. Once you have an account, you can go ahead and log in. I will do that now with my dummy account I made so you can see how things work. When you log in you're going to be at your dashboard and your dashboard lists your projects. With the free account on ScribTech you can have up to three projects. Projects are basically like folders. Everybody will initially have a sample project. If I click this there's a few files in here. I won't mess with this right now. You can go ahead and change this, uh, delete it, do whatever you want with it but I'm going to show us how to make a new project. So if you head back on over to the dashboard and click New Project, you can create a new project. Most students like to share their projects with me so I can get in there and help them debug their LaTeX files. So I have a lot of projects shared with me. It would be really useful if I know whose is whose. So let's go ahead and name this Weekly Homework. You might use this for multiple classes or no sense putting the class title in there and my dummy is Iron Man so let's go ahead and put that in the title here so we know whose this is. So once you've created this, this is your project, one of your three free ones and at the moment there are no files in here. Before we add any files, let's go ahead and add a collaborator. So up, up here just down below the title, click on collaborators and now you can list people that you would like to have access to this. So we would like Dana, me, to have access to this and my username is DC Ernst which is the same as my email prefix. So you just add that in there, click Add, and now both Iron Man and DC Ernst both have access to this folder or project. Now let's go back to Files for this, and there's nothing here. So what I'd like to do is copy the content of my homework template so that we have access to that. To do that, you've got to head on over to the course web page, and on the homework page, if you scroll all the way down to the LaTeX template for homework and look for a link called Public Script Tech Folder, which you can find here. If you click that, it'll take you to a project I have shared publicly that's got a few files in it. And look for the one called Homework Template.tech. If you click that, it will take you to a static copy of the homework template. This isn't in your account yet, so you need to copy the content of this file. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight everything from end document all the way up to the last percent symbol. So once you've done that, copy the content. Now we're going to go make a new file in our new project. So I'm going to go ahead and click New File. And we have the option of changing the file name, which we should. So the default is newfile.tech. I will name it Homework Template. And the idea here is to just leave this template intact so that every time you get started you can just sort of copy it and get started. So I'm going to go ahead and paste in the contents from the homework template. So don't forget to click save here. And it will always tell you when it's last saved there. And if we wanted to we could click compile. Let's skip that for now. Let's go back to the project list of files. And so now you can see there's a homework template here. Now if you actually want to get started making a file for your homework, why don't we go ahead and make a new file. And let's name it something like Weekly 3 Iron Man. And let's go ahead and paste in again the contents of the homework template. Again, don't forget to click Save at some point along the way. Now anytime we actually would like to see the PDF output of this, you go ahead and click Compile. I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like. And as you can see, the tech file compiled nicely. There's uh, Weekly Homework X from Tony Stark. And that's basically it. What you need to do now is if you wanted, if you were done, you'd want to click Download PDF to your computer and that's the file you would email to me is the PDF output from ScribTech. You'll have to rename it but that's basically it. And so you can always go back and forth between the text source and the PDF and that should get you started. If you have any questions shoot me an email or post a question in the forum.